Okay, this is the Vorta Power um, inverter. Uh, plugs into a NAX port on Tesla's. Uh, it's rated at 3,500 watts. I just received this the other day. This is everything that comes in the package. This is the device itself. I've also seen that same device sold by EVCon and Test Launch. Um, they all appear to be exactly the same device. Um, this is user manual. It's a USB key, a little 16 gig SanDisk. Um, I did plug that into a computer, just a couple, um, it's like a empty log file folder and an empty text file. I'm not sure what that's for. There's no reference to it in the user manual. There's also a USB um, A to USB A cable, I assume for plugging into the computer. I have not plugged the device itself into the computer yet. Lastly, or not lastly, second to lastly, there is a 12 volt um, charging connector. Um, this will plug in to the Vorta Power device. I believe it has an onboard battery that, um, you know, if, if left uh, unused for too long, um, it may need to, be, need to be charged up or uh, plugged in just so it can, um, you know, initiate the activation to the vehicle. Um, and then lastly, there is a carrying case that it came with. So this is just a standard Nax plug. And the device itself, we have a power button on the front and two um, just regular 120 volt outlets. If you can read that there, it says product name, external discharge device. Uh, when idle for more than a month, external power may be required to start up. Uh, on the bottom, some more basic information, input voltage, DC 300 to 500 volts, output power 3.5 kilowatt, output voltage AC 120 volt, 30 amp max, input interface NACS, and we have two USB ports on the bottom there. That is about it. There is the, uh, there's a fan and that's where you plug that 12 volt um, coax plug in to uh, charge its onboard battery. Nice little uh, vinyl carrying strap there. All right, I'll go out to the car and look at how this works. All right, now out in the garage with my Tesla Model 3. Um, first, before plugging anything in, I'm gonna turn on the device. Again, it has a little onboard battery and it has to go through a boot up sequence. It does take a few seconds. This red light will turn yellow and then it'll be ready to plug into the car. If you plug it in too early, it does not work. So there we go, it's yellow now. I'll take the next plug. If my car is unlocked here, which it may not be. Wake it up. Come on. There we go. All right, so you heard the car click and the inverter just clicked as well. And so the car believes it is charging. Our LED light went green on the Vorta power device. Okay. So we're running now. Let's see if we can do a quick voltage measurement. All right, getting 100 and 127 and change volts. The other one is about the same, 127 volts. All right, and uh, just a quick continuity test. We're gonna go neutral to ground. I got nothing. Neutral to ground, I got nothing. So it appears to be a floating ground. A couple of heat guns here and a uh, kilowatt. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the kilowatt. I'm gonna turn on the heat gun. So high. 
get close up here. About 1500 and change watts. Plug in a second heat gun. This one's a little less. I measured this around, I think, 12 or 1300. So we're close to 3000 watts, not quite pushing its limits. I did let these run previously for, I don't know, five or ten minutes, and it didn't have any trouble. The car doesn't seem to mind. So it's relatively small, fairly light. I think they say it's nine pounds. For a uh, basically a 400 volt DC to 120 volt uh, AC inverter with decent power. Most 12 volt DC inverters of that capacity would be um, appreciably larger than that device. And not as convenient. So, there we go. I'll go ahead and shut everything down now. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. Unplug our devices. And let me just push this for about two seconds. And it turns off. And it actually deactivated the charge port on the car. And I can just pull it straight out. And this will power itself off. The all light it says that everything is disconnected now. And that will turn off in about 30 seconds. So that is the uh, Vorta power device. The cable is only about 6 feet long. It's not super long. Um, I did what you'll see in every ad is I have it on this little stool down here. Um, but uh, if I set it on the ground, it'll go about that far from the car. So it'll reach you know, to the back of the car, etc. And you can see the car went red. I didn't have the device turned on, so the car doesn't know what's plugged in and it just went red. But just as a test for the uh, cord length, just to show you. But in all of their advertisements, it's always on a uh, like a folding table or or a picnic table or something because it's not it's not super long but you don't really need it to be you can just set it on the ground like that that's everything hope that's helpful to anybody looking at purchasing one of these units all right i lied one more test let's see if it'll work on a ccs vehicle this is my rivian i have a ccs or an axe to ccs adapter so um, first, real quick, I'm going to turn the device back on, let that go into its boot up sequence there. I'm going to uh, unplug my J1772 plug from the Rivian, I'll plug in my electron adapter. I have a few NAX to CCS adapters. This one happened to be the closest one today. All right, we got the yellow light. We're plugged in. And uh, see what happens. All right, something happened. The Rivian woke up. I had a flashing green light very briefly on this, and then this went out. And nothing seems to be happening. The Rivian doesn't really recognize anything. If I can turn this back on. Yeah, this doesn't seem to work. So. There you go. This does not currently work on CCS. I believe they have a new unit um, that they are working on with uh, 
they have like a Kickstarter um, for a, for a, another unit. I'm not sure what the differences are to this unit. Um, all I know is it does have a display on it. This unit does not have any display to show you any uh, you know output statistics or voltages or anything like that. So their new unit does appear to, um, and that should be out later in 2025. All right, let me know if you have any questions below.